evening, 8.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast. This is XRP Future Million. We have some breaking news here with Stellar. As you guys know, Stellar XLM. We have some big, big news on a pilot test, like a test case for CBDC. And Kenny, this will make you very happy because this goes into what we were saying about XLM being undervalued. <clears throat> and we'll eventually see the pilot after this article. <clears throat> on after the post daily close and i'm out so how stellar will host ukraine cbdc pilot tests with tascomo bank tascom bank the stellar development foundation sdf has been working with the ukraine and this just came out at 1700 hours so this is breaking news um ukraine government on their national central bank digital currency cbdc for a while the collaboration has started to produce results as this sdf bit and Tascom Bank recently deployed a pilot project for the electronic Pervina on this network. Um, per a press release, the partners will test the CBDCs, use cases, and its programmable capabilities. These will be leveraged to pay employees at a company called Dila or Dia <clears throat> and to perform payments to merchants and individuals. According to the release published by BIT, the project has been under the supervision of the National Bank of Ukraine, aided by their Ministry of Digital Transformation. In that sense, Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Digital Transformation, Oleksandr Bornyakov, commented the following on their CBDC's test phase. The pilot project will serve as a technological basis for the ensuance of electronic money and is the next key step to advance innovation of payment and financial infrastructure in Ukraine. During the trial on Stellar, the partners will also test the cap capacity to issue digital currency with asset control capabilities for issues. The bank institution will be in charge of testing the implementation of the Hervina on BITS digital currency management system, DCMS. The latter company has been in charge of developing a stablecoin with its payment rail for the National Bank of Belize, and it's behind the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, initiative to launch a CBDC, the target of this project. Per its official website is to increase opportunities for financial growth. Similar to the project, the Digital Hermina, High Ravini, whatever, will use the modern software techniques and alleged scalable and perform performant benefits from the DCMS. The system will protect the user's data while regulatory bodies still can access needed information. The official website adds the following on their DCMS. Security is designed in to use secure defaults, minimize attacks, surfaces, and de provide defense in depth. Independent modules allow each component to scale independently of others, allowing automatic adjustments to meet variable demands. Stellar spearheads Ukrainian initiative with its DCMS system bit will provide secure minting currency manager in a monetary transaction network, thus tackling three of the most important items in every CBDC project. Volodymyr Dubai, Dubai chairman for Tascom Bank said, Cooperative with Bit to build on Stellar allows us to connect our core banking system with blockchain-based infrastructure, creating an ecosystem that includes a full range of banking products and operations with electronic currency on the Stellar blockchain. Dubai also expressed excitement to improve the country's financial products by using virtual assets. The Ukrainian Central Bank and Tescom Bank have long-term strategies that include innovation supported on blockchain technology and the digital economy. Executive Director and CEO of the Stellar Development Foundation, Danielle Dixon, added the following. Stellar is an open network that was designed with asset issuance in mind and is uniquely suited to assets like the electronic Hermvina. It offers issuers like Tascom Bank a suite of controls that they can configure for their asset control needs while maintaining the interoperability and flexibility of an open ledger. Um, as of press time, XLM trades at $0.26 cents with a 2.9% loss in the last 24 hours. XLM on a downtrend in the 4-hour chart. Source XLM USD on trading view. So that is fantastic. So now let's go into the XLM chart. Then we'll look at XRP. So XLM is just under $0.26. Cents. You can see, just like with the rest of these now in the 30-minute time frame, every time we make a comeback, we fall back below it. So now where we're at right now, since over down over the logical thing would be to get rejected here maybe come up to here but it really looks like xlm needs to come down and finish off what we were talking about it's just dragged out for a very long time that's what this was or this was and then you bounce down here and then you go down here and then you bounce back up possibly you know we've got a double bottom where i'm pretty sure we have to just come down and finish that area right you come down and then you can come up 
So we have right now resistance at 26.9, support at 24.7. So that's what we're looking at. If you pull XL out into a bigger time frame, bring the pattern out bigger. You can see we have a decided area, but we must, we've got a lot of work to do, guys. We can't just go from here to there. So we've got a, like we did with XRP the other day, if we were drawing a decided uptrend, with XLM, I mean, it's basically right at the uptrend. So for me to be like, okay, there's not going to be a lot of, uh, yeah, see, I don't know, though. That really does match up perfectly with that area where I have it dropping down. That would be the perfect bounce on the uptrend. That That's why I think that's so, it is, it's so perfect. I think that's where it's going to bounce. I think that 1998 line could end up coming in play, or we would stop at that double bottom at 22 cents. But I think that's absolutely in play. So that's what I'm seeing with XLM. And then with XRP real quick, and then I'm going to let you go. XRP's done the same thing. It keeps coming down below the 30-minute time frame. And you can see it keeps being used as rejection, as a resistance point. Even when we got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a pump, look what happens. It comes right back under it, and it's using it as resistance again. So we have 81698 as resistance. 75340 is a double bottom. Could be a double bottom there support, but the true double bottom is on at 57 cents. So if this pulls down, I mean, if you're looking at this logically now, it's done everything we need it to do to be a topping reversal now. It's just, it's that simple. With this latest move, it's a topping reversal if it ends like this. Right? And then it would end up. That's exactly what we're doing right now. So you can see it. It's just a matter of, can we find any kind of volume? Because as we said, this line right here, which means overwhelming resistance, and it's being proven to it, and it's pinned us down into a corner. And now the question is, is do we start trading this box before we break down? Or do we just all of a sudden break down? Because there is no volume. We're coming into a futures close, and tomorrow for Bitcoin, these options, like I was trying to warn earlier, I've been nailing these options lately, and the last few times it's benefited us when the options expired because it had a nice prompt, uh, pu yeah, price pump. This time, I think it's going to have a negative effect because there's a lot of shorts in play right now, and the longs are being extinguished right now. And I, I don't think I think the shorts are in control in this uh, for the call options tomorrow. And with how low we are, it could signify a farther push down. So we're just going to have to be cautious of that. And in the 30-minute time frame, Bitcoin is decidedly under again. Went up, came down. It's the same kind of reversal pattern as XRP showing. We've got 48,286 as resistance. And we've got 47,118 as support. We do have a 45,622 for the area double bottom. But then the actual double bottom right here from the drop point is 41,954. Make sure to hit that like button and consider joining Times Army. Show that support, 99 a month.